Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hoping you have enjoyed the information explained in the previous chapter of Super Takuma 55mm F2. In this third chapter, I do not pretend to review the Asahi Pentax lenses, the Super Takuma 50mm F1.4 as announced before. After publishing the first chapter, questions surrounded me. If Takuma, a photographer and oil painter who lives in the States, still have connection to an optical company based in Asia, it is known that he returned home once for a short period of time to do photography related work asked by the Japanese government and after that he returned to the States. What elements did he contribute to the development of a lens design? Being not an optician and Takumar lens launched in 1952. This will be the topic in the present chapter. I don't want to spend more time around Takuma. Many of you know his life facts. In addition, I mentioned he had received 10 awards and was classified at many competitive exhibitions and then buried in Tama Cemetery, Tokyo, Japan. Finito. Just follow those links in the box as I have found them. I am moving towards the company and first thing first, let me debug the following. The very first official name, Asahi Kogaku Goshi Kaisha, means Asahi Optical Joint Stock Company, where Asahi means Morning Sun and Kogaku Optical. I found their official timeline, a very interesting page, and I will assert some details in between the gaps of the timeline I consider relevant to what I have found, digging deep in the net. Here is their splendid timeline and I think my work will only cover until 1957 when Asahi Pentax is born. 1919 Asahi Kogaku Goshi Kaisha established by Kumao Kajiwara in Otsuka, Tokyo. The company consisted of only a few people and the main activity was the production of lenses for wearable eyeglasses. Kumao was a lens polisher. From the very beginning, the company has been distinguished by a serious approach to the choice of technology for precision glass polishing, setting quality standards similar to the production of complex optical instruments. In 1923, the company began to manufacture lenses for cine projectors and for other makers and saw further development of the lens making side of the business. In 1931, the design of the first camera lens is complete and in 1932 commenced to make lenses for the motor camera. The following year, Asahi began to supply those lenses to Konishiruku. That was a proposal started by Konishiruku. Konishiruku has been manufacturing cameras since the 20s, the Perlette, using expensive lenses and shutters supplied by the Warren Sack in the USA, and making use of domestic lenses will reduce the cost of the final production. However, Asahi lenses were not sold under their own name, but under the triplet type, Xeon and Otter lens. Kumao Kajiwara passed away and Sabur Masimoto, his nephew, a photography enthusiast and the owner of an old German 6x6 reflex corral, was already working for the factory, took the management of the Asahi optical. That year was 1936. In 1937, when Japanese industry was militarized, all production of the factory were operating under a strict state order. 
Instead of photography lenses, they were forced to produce military products, optical sights. Plans for photography were stopped. However, working under military oversight, Masumoto was forced to find a new outlet for his plan. In 1938, Masumoto bought a small factory in Tokyo. The company was reorganized and the official name changed to Asahi Optical Company. In 1940, Asahi Optical Company, the Oyama factory based in Itabashi Kosha, completed its construction. Production of camera lenses was resumed, but only for a short time. That new plant was also forced to manufacture for the needs of the army. And during wartime, the development of consumer photography market was the darkest period. According to this list, Asahi was buying glass from Fuji between 1941 to 1945. Were these glasses for military needs? War, and the factory has been bombed and destroyed. I presume the destruction was partial because, by the end of the war, Asahi fell into debt. Matsumoto was forced to sell the surviving equipment and the factory temporarily dissolved due to the Japan's defeat in the war. Operations were resumed in 1946. In 1948, the Oyama factory became the main factory. The same year, a weather forecast for the month of May, a total solar eclipse will take place and could be observed in the northern Japan. Asahi put his efforts into the production of a telescope. The tube was made of cardboard, but it contained high-quality lenses, becoming very popular. This leads to the next real hit of the market, the release of the binoculars Jupiter. In 1950, Asahi started cooperation with camera manufacturers, producing thousands of lenses monthly for Chioda Kogaku, Konishiro Sashin Kojiu, and Sanwa Shokai. Sanwa Shokai, whose spy camera micro became wildly popular among the soldiers of the occupying force after everyone saw such camera in the hands of Marlene Dietrich during her trip to Japan. The business has its reason, but Masumoto still was dreaming of something bigger, not only being a supplier, instead being a creator of a camera under his own brand, being innovative, not following the others, Copy Rolly Flex dual lens flex cameras and Leica rangefinders. The work on the Asahi camera has begun in 1949. However, the time and effort expended did not reach the result in expect. What was wrong? Masumoto concluded, without a team of qualified engineers, he will never reach his intentions. Who? will be his qualified team.